Savin Yusufova is connecting the dots. She connected 14 photos using oil pipelines she photographed on a recent trip to Azerbaijan. They all come from the uh, oil islands or the oil pumps and starting with the countryside, they all go to the cities. They can be in anywhere, like in the nature, uh, next to the road or, I don't know, in a very expensive shopping mall. You can st still see them, so I, was, I, I wanted to connect them to give this feeling. A feeling she wanted to convey by showing just how prevalent pipelines are throughout the country. When you say Azerbaijan, you can say like it's a very, I don't know, the rich, rich country because of the oil and everything, but the oil actually also kills everything, like uh, starting with the views or, or the architecture or many things. So I, I wanted to work with it in a literal way, like the way it looks. I kind of want to, yeah, toy with it. Yusufova is one of eight artists, all under the age of 40 and living in Turkey, who were selected for an eight-month Resource Utopia project, culminating in a photography and video art workshop. The artists were asked to think about the word utopia and what it means as part of a collaboration between art houses in Istanbul and Berlin. Something can be an utopia, but for the other people, it could be a dystopia, let, 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 like technology. So I just heard that uh, in, in, in Norway, they are implanting some chips inside. So for me, this is a kind of dystopia, but they like to be uh, make it. So it's a utopia for them. So depends on the point of view. While most of the works are displayed traditionally on a wall, this cube installation is the brainchild of photographer Barak Diklitash. He took thousands of pictures of his neighborhood in Izmir to create what he calls a confusion space. My artistic practice is uh, about being in, uh, in, in, uh, in between spaces of utopia and dystopia. The, the workshop was about utopia, so I thought about it, how can I push it into the, into the in-between space. Instead of a traditional photography exhibit, he created a cube installation covered in vinyl prints of his photos. Of course, I had like my childhood memories inside of it, but I really, in the certain points, I started to think my neighborhood is a, some kind of uh, science fiction, dystopian way of, uh, of life. I mean, how can, how can it be if I, if I write a science fiction novel in this neighborhood? Like most of the pieces on display, Dikolitash's work blurs the line between utopia and dystopia. In our time, we think also of the dangers of utopia. It's not, not a paradise, it it's, uh, could be also a dystopia. And it depends on the time and on the place where you're from, where are you from and where you're looking at this term, utopia. The exhibit is on display at the Elgiz Museum until mid-January. Adil Halim, TRT World, Istanbul.